This lecture will describe the classic chest x-ray findings that are associated with a simple pneumothorax. A pneumothorax refers to the presence of gas or air in the pleural space. It is considered a simple pneumothorax when there isn't any mediastinal shift to the contralateral side and the patient is stable. In regards to detecting a pneumothorax, the most important aspect is simply looking for it. The x-ray may be almost entirely normal, except for a small crescent of lucency next to the lung, which can be easy to miss. Can you see a crescent of increased transradiancy in this x-ray? You may need to look closely. This area of increased blackness represents free air. Notice the lack of bronchovesicular markings within this region. A very helpful sign of a pneumothorax is the demarcation of the visceral pleura on the x-ray, which is identified by a thin, sharp white line. This fine hairline opacity occurs between the lateral border of the lung and the free air in the pleural space. Again, notice the lack of pulmonary vascular markings in the area beyond the pleural line. Now if the lung is consolidated, then the visceral pleura won't be distinguishable as a separate line, but rather as the edge of the consolidation. Within the confines of the visceral pleural lines, you can see lung tissue, which can be identified by the presence of lung markings. The contralateral lung, however, may appear to have more prominent lung markings due to increased vascular flow. As mentioned earlier, with a simple pneumothorax, the heart and mediastinal structures remain in their natural positions. For example, notice the central position of the trachea in this x-ray. Here is a more obvious x-ray of a pneumothorax. No lung markings are visible beyond the border of the right lung, which has collapsed. Notice the increased opacity of the collapsed right lung in comparison to the normal left lung. As well, the right heart border cannot be identified because the collapsed lung is indistinguishable from the heart. This is referred to as the silhouette sign. And the trachea is central as mediastinal shift has not occurred. Normally, the chest x-ray is performed with the patient on inspiration. Can you detect the pneumothorax on the inspiratory x-ray? Now how about on the expiratory x-ray? Occasionally, the air between the lung and the pleural space is easier to detect with an expiratory image. To quickly recap, with a pneumothorax, a thin sharp white line, the visceral pleura, separates the lung and the free air, which is void of bronchovesicular markings. As well, in the case of a simple thorax, there will not be any signs of mediastinal shift. Now, although most x-rays are taken in the urex position, for the purpose of detecting pneumothorax anyway, this way air collects superiorly and laterally, unfortunately, not all patients can stand. So when the radiograph is taken with the patient in the supine position, air actually collects basally, which may seem counterintuitive, but in that position, the anterior and lateral calciferinic sulci are actually the highest points in which free pleural air can collect. When air collects in this location, it may result in a deep sulcus sign, which is an indirect sign of a pneumothorax. Spine x-rays, however, lack sensitivity for detecting pneumothorax and should not be relied upon if negative. If the patient cannot stand, then a lateral decubitus x-ray should be taken with the affected lung facing upwards.